Are you ready for another amazing episode of the Battle Mosey? Tune in for this amazing New Year pack opening. We've got some big hitters coming in today. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's crack into it. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Card Breaker. Welcome back to another epic video. It is that time, guys. It is the end of the month. This is actually the end of the year. Come on, 2022. Uh, it is time for that Battle Mosey. I did miss last month, but I am not missing this one. We've got some really heavy packs to be opening up today. Cannot wait to see what we can get. Maybe we can finally pull the Ghost Rare for Battle Mosey. So for everyone out there, the Battle Mosey is something that occurs the last day of every single month. All you have to do is reach out to Yugimo. He'll go ahead and link everyone's videos together so that way you guys can watch them all as they drop on the last day of the month. Great way to connect everyone in the community and just have a lot of fun, you know, sharing packs with everyone. So before we do get into that, I do have a little bit of a giveaway. I've got two cards from Maximum Gold. These are some of my personal favorites out of my personal collection. Really hope you guys do enjoy these. All you have to do is drop a like, leave a comment, letting me know what your New Year's resolution is. What are you working on in your collection? Are you trying to get a certain card, a certain set, uh, collectibles, whatever it might be, just let me know. And of course, be a subscriber, ring that bell. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy your stay, and I hope you do love this awesome con content that I have coming out for you today. So to speak about that, we do actually have a booster box of Brothers of Legend. I haven't opened this setup yet myself. I opened up a couple blisters here and there when friends were giving me stuff for gifts, but we've got that, and this is gonna be amazing. We've got... 10 booster packs of Stardust Overdrive. I've been holding onto these for something special. You know, we hit 200 subscribers. It's about to be 2022. We had an amazing year on YouTube so far. Why not send it off with a bang and explode and get a ghost rare? So let's go ahead and crack into this Brothers of Legend. You know, we are hunting that Starlight Dragoon. The, um, I think it's number 17 that's in the Astral Rare. So. Guys, I cannot wait to see what we can get. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy open. I need to get a new knife, this one's kinda dull. <laughs> but guys, Brothers of Legend is such a cool set. It has a lot of really good secret rares. Um, you know, you have the Forbidden Droplet, you've got the um, Adusted Gold, Malicious Bane. Um, what's another big one that's in there? I'm drawing a blank right now. I can't think what it might be. Anyways, there's a, oops, not gonna over the display. Get up there, Dark Crisis. Can't wait to finish you in the collection. But we're just gonna go ahead and get into this, guys. I really hope you guys are having a great time. I hope you had a great 2021 with all the craziness that's been going on. It, it's just, I really hope it's better for everyone this year. Um, we're gonna go with these a little quickly just because there's really not many chase cards from the ultra rare set there's a starving venomy dragon and even from the secret rares eh, this set like it's good if you pull good secret rares but you know if you don't it's just it's meh <laughs> so we are hoping to at least get one of the good ones you know the forbidden droplet oh magician souls that's the other one illyrilis bird strike i think that's actually one of the decent ones i will say the secret rares in this set are beautiful they do look nice uh, for those of you who haven't opened this set yet, it is an all ultra rare plus the one secret rare in the back with the potential for the uh, Starlight Rare there at the end. So hopefully we can actually pull one of those. Golly, could you imagine pulling a Starlight Rare and a Ghost Rare in the same opening? <laughs> Let me make sure we are actually recording on both. We are, we are good to go. We are in the green. Well, I guess this is kind of in the red because we're, you know, recording budding is usually red. <laughs> Alrighty, Speed Ride Scratch. Um, maybe that's one of the decent ones. I'd, I really don't remember this set. Like some of the more common secret rares were like decent price for a while, but now that everyone's opening it and selling off all their surplus, you know, the prices have kind of crashed some. So I really don't know where the prices have fallen. Uh, ZS Utopic Sage. So. I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy to be doing a Battle Z. I'm happy to be doing another big video for everyone. I'm happy to be here at the end of 2021. Oh, this is one of our Kribos. We got a Shooting Star Dragon, uh, Allure of Darkness. I know that is one of the good ones. We're going to set that one to the side. And we got a Stealth Kraken Spawn. But anyway, um, you know, excited to just be doing this with everyone. I've really, really enjoyed my time here on YouTube with everyone so far this year. And I cannot wait for the amazing, amazing memories we're going to share going into the new year. 
Red Ass Fusion, that's a good one as well, I believe. And a <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> I know that's kind of the meme of the set, pulling the grandpa. Um, I, I don't, I haven't actually read its effect. I don't know if it's, it's probably useless, but you know, he, I guess it's not a, uh, a true Brothers of Legend opening. Hey, there's a Kreevy. Um, if you don't pull the grandpa. Uh, Perry Race Map, I think that's one of the better ones. I'll be sure to pop up prices on the screen, of course, like I always do for these pack openings. So, yeah, guys, like I said, for that giveaway, um, even if you don't want to enter the giveaway, just comment what your uh, what your collection goals are. There's another Creebo. we got a Creeborn, uh, D-Force. Really curious to see what everyone's working on. Me, personally, I'm still trying to finish... <laughs> A uh, Dark Crisis set, still trying to finish a Storm of Ragnarok. Um, I've moved on some to Pokemon and starting to work on some sets there in the Lord of Darkness. We've got a Wing Requital. Um, so, you know, I'm with, with Pokemon, I'm working on Evolving Skies. That's my current goal. And I'm actually almost done. Um, I've got kind of all the big ones. <laughs> the Requaza VMAX Alternate Art. Um, and I know that's gonna be one of the last ones I'm able to get just because it is so expensive. We got a Yaoi, Yoi Yaoi, whatever your name is. We've got two more packs here on the right side, but I am hoping to complete uh, really at least one of my collection, our initial collection goals here soon. Another Shooting Star Dragon, pretty good one there. Void Feast, hey, we got the Karibo, let's go. And a Utopia uh, Dragonar. Last pack on the right side. Uh, you know, I've been, I think when I initially got into the, this hobby, you know, way back, I think it was like way earlier this year, um, I told myself that I wanted to finish a first edition Dark Crisis set, and really I'm almost done. Um, I've got, I think every holo, every, you know, most of the short prints, um, some of the cards I have could be in better condition, so I'll update them or upgrade them as, as time goes, Astraltopia, um, but yeah, as time goes, I'll be sure to get some. Is that a bleeder on that one? I've, I've noticed that a lot of people have been pulling some pretty nice hollow bleeders in the Brother of Legend openings. But yeah, as time goes, I'll be sure to upgrade the condition of those. You know, I wasn't wasn't too crazy worried about getting you know pristine condition on some of the commons uh, just because you know, they're starting to enemy dragon. Uh, they are so old, and they just, you know, Dark Crisis, you know, unfortunately just wasn't a crazy popular pack for a lot of people, so, like, people didn't keep, you know, good care of the, the commons and some of the rares, so that's been kind of the hard end of the one of these. I hope it's expensive, or at least a little bit pricey to get some of our money back <laughs> from this box. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's a good set, you know, I like it the most because that guy right there, that Dark Flare Knight, that's been my personal favorite card since way back in the day. Uh, we can know the Creeborn uh, way back in the day when I used to play. Uh, just, I don't, I don't know. It always stood out to me. Like, I remember in the anime, you know, it not being crazy popular, but it did get used by Yugi. Very weird, you know, that it's, it's um, you know, the fusion of Flame Swordsman and Dark Magician that... Um, you know, the attack is less than a Dark Magician, less than a Dark Magician, it really just doesn't make any sense, but, um, I don't know, it's just, it's always been my favorite card, I love the look of it, I love the shield, I love the foiling, it's one of those cards that I wish that they would do a reprint on, just because it's so underappreciated in my opinion, and it's just, I don't know, the Utopia Dragon R, guys, we're getting down to the bottom here of, the, <laughs> of this Brothers of Legend box, I've got one more box to open, and I'm really hoping we can get something. Uh, these boxes actually came from Heart of the Pack. He opened up a case and you know, he told me, we got a Karibu, get most of the Karibus, Karibos. <laughs> uh, he told me that most of the Forbidden Droplets have been pulled, the Magician Souls were pulled, and he said that if you open it, there's like a 33% chance I will get a Starlight Rare. So I'm willing to take that chance. I really am, Inferno Eteria. And we've got three more packs to do that. You know, if we don't get a Starlight Rare, then we do still have a chance to get an Ultimate Rare or a Ghost Rare with the Stardust Overdrive packs. Those packs are pretty old. I forget which year they came out of, but a very classic set that I, like I said, I've been holding on to for a while for a special moment. And, you know, like I said, why not go ahead and kick things off with a bang for the new year and just even have a chance at getting a Ghost Rare. 
Um, I have pulled one Ghost Rare. I did pull a Ghost Rare on my own before I started making content and before another Kribo, uh, before I started making content and making videos. And, uh, you know, we are on our last pack of Brothers of Legend. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this content. Wish us some luck here. Will the Starlight be hiding in this last pack? I hope so. Well, okay, I was making sure I didn't know if that was a little dinged up. Another Preborn. We got a couple of those. I think three of them. We got our playset. Last card, guys, is it is we got the perform out Cree Bobble. So that is a, still a decent secret rare. So Brothers of Legend was not a big hit for us. That is okay. You know, you can't win them all. Um, I do still have one more set or one more box to open up of that one. So hopefully we can get something good. But here's on to the big one. We've got that classic 5Ds Stardust Overdrive pack. Oh boy. I cannot wait to see what we can get in these. And I just, you know, I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for at least a hollow. These aren't first edition. So, you know, obviously, oh, we got an upside down card. Are these all upside down? Oh, that wasn't, okay, so just some of them are upside down. Insect Neglect. Um, you know, we're still hoping to get some type of ultimate rare, um, maybe a hollow of some sort, Relinquish Spider. So no hollow on our first set, our first pack there. And, but this this is just a really cool set. Um, I believe it is the Majestic Star Dragon is the Ghost Rare that is in this set. And like I was saying earlier, I haven't pulled a Ghost Rare. Just about every other one of my YouTube YouTuber bros have pulled some Ghost Rares this year. Uh, most of them did come from the re recent, uh, was the, I just forgot the name, Legendary Duelist um, Synchro Storm, that one. All right, so no hollows yet. No hollows yet, guys. We've got just a couple commons, couple rares, nothing crazy. This, is this like a European pack? Um, let me see here. I don't know. Actually, I got these from Ruxin, so shout out to Ruxin. Um, I haven't even looked at these yet to see where these were manufactured. It looks to be English or uh, North American printing. But anyway, um, did get these from Ruxin. Got him when he was doing a pretty big sale on his Stardust Overdrive packs. And a big shout out to you. You know, not that you really need it because <laughs> you're one of the more popular YouTubers out there. Um, but you know, I know him and Yugimo do go back a good bit. And like I said earlier in that intro, um, this is an event that's put on by Yugimo. Oh, we did get a super rare. We got a Knight of the Red Lotus. That is a very cool looking super rare from Stardust Overdrive. So we're gonna put him off to the side and Stardust there. So, but yeah, like I was saying, um, him and Yugimo do go way back. I know they've been doing videos with each other for a good while now. And, you know, very thankful that Yugimo has blessed all of our smaller YouTubers the opportunity to just, you know, have a chance um, to get out there, interact with the bigger guys, and just have some fun. You know, it's it's nice to kind of give back. There's a couple, couple YouTubers that I'm trying to do the same with. We got another super rare. We got a Fortune's Future. Very cool. So we are getting some hollows. We got two so far. You know, can't really be mad about that too much. You know, we are hoping to get the ghost rare. All right, let me move these around just a little bit, get them straightened up, perfect. But we are hoping to get that ghost rare. You know, I've opened some older packs, definitely nothing like uh, Yugimo, the, the man himself. Uh, whoa, what do we have here? Is this, <laughs> did we get one of those like test print cards? Oh, that would be wild if we did. Virtual Grace, Bending Destiny, Energy Bravery. Earthbound Revival. What is that in the back? Okay, so that's just a security code tag. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I was really thrown off by that. I know you can get those like test print cards in some packs, some of the older ones. Um, even like just the plain white ones that they use. I don't want to do that one up in the cards. Um, I was just going to say that would have been wild if we got one of those because I know those are very valuable and very sought after. I don't even remember what I was saying. I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> got really distracted there. Molting Escape, Time Passage, and do we have a Hollow? We don't, so Ground Spider. It looks like the Hollow is before the Rare on the Stardust Overdrive packs. All right, we've got four packs left, guys. Four packs left. Please smash that like button. Go on and like every other YouTuber's video who is doing the Battle Mosey. I'll be sure to tag all of them that I can down in the description of my video, um, but if I don't get them all, then the, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, 
Yugamo will for sure have all of them linked in his video down below. We got a holo. We do. We got a majestic dragon. <laughs> Not the hollow you want, but hey, we've got three hollows so far, and you know, we're actually doing fairly good, or we're doing fairly well. You know, we're three hollows, they are just super rares. This is an older set, so you're not guaranteed hollows with any of these. Um, you know, it's one of those where you either get a rare or you get a hollow and a rare. <laughs> so it's, it, we're, we're kind of spoiled nowadays where we get some crazy stuff. Just a trap card, so no hollow with that pack. We are down to our last two of Stardust Overdrive, that classic 5Ds. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this content. And like I said, if you're new here, I really hope you enjoy your time and I hope you end up staying. Um, hit that subscribe button for more amazing content. Oh yes, and is it name shifted? Oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> You know, it's so funny because uh, Billy and Billy's Car Vault has been sharing this card like crazy. And I see it every time. I'm like, I gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. We did it. We pulled a Secret Rare with a crazy name shift. It does look like it has a little bit of a ding there at the top, which is unfortunate. But, oh my God, let me, let me get a sleep for this one. That is wild. So, like I said, it looks like it does have a little bit of a, well, I don't know. Yeah, like like right here, it's got a little bit of like a like a lip or something. But other than that, this card looks dang good. Wow, Guardian Etos or Etos with a massive name shift. I'm pretty sure that's a name shift. I've never seen a card <laughs> that shuffled over, so that that's wild. Wow, 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 wow. Well, there we go. You know, you guys smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe, you brought us the luck. Look what you did. I am super happy with that. So we got three supers, and can we finish with something on this one? It is, what do we have? We got another super rare. Wow, shout out to Ruxin. You know, we got a lot of supers from, or a lot of hollows from this Stardust Overdrive box, or excuse me, packs. So, you know, really not too mad about that. We got four super rares and a secret rare out of just five <laughs> Stardust Overdrive packs. And the Secret Rare is a misprint. That is so crazy. So we got Kwaiki Meru, Rook Lord, Majestic Dragon, Fortune's Future, Knight of the Red Lotus, and a Guardian Etos with that massive name kind of shift over to the right. It looks like somebody just pressed the indent, indent button on there and said, boop. <laughs> but that is beautiful. Such an amazing Secret Rare. I wish it had some hollow bleed, but can't really be too upset with that one. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell just to show YouTube that you are enjoying my content and want to get out to everyone. But big thank you to Yugimo for putting on the Battle Mozi. Really hope you guys have a nice day going through with New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. This video should come up on New Year's Day, or excuse me, New Year's Eve. So uh, again, you know, thank you to everyone. It's just been, it's been a blast this year. I would love to hear what you guys are working on for your collection goals and just you know drop a comment and let me know but anyways i really hope you enjoyed your time here have a day have a nice day have a nice night this is card breaker i will see you guys on the next one i'm out